Welcome to Game Changers. I'm here today with Dr. Chuck Radis. Chuck, tell us about the work you're doing. So, uh, James Angelo uh, was a young man who graduated from Portland High School now about eight years ago. After graduation, he was a security guard at Mercy Hospital, and some people may remember that he was shot and killed in a parking lot eight years ago. And since my children were also going to Portland High School at about the same time, uh, I worked with the James Angelo family and we began a scholarship in his name called the James Angelo Scholarship. And because of that uh, effort and my interest in um, so much of what was going on with African immigrants at Portland High School, that evolved to also include um, work in Africa, in particularly in South Sudan, as part of what's called the Main African Partnership for Social Justice. That's an organization that, that has um, had partners with the University of New England a Medical School and with the guidance counselors at Portland High School to determine scholarship winners. Um, it's been very satisfying and, and uh, many of the people who are from South Sudan who live in Portland, we, we actually, for them it's satisfying because we go back to the area of South Sudan that they were actually from and many of their relatives are still from. Now that, that sounds like a wonderful project. When you think about how we build our communities today and, and the work that you do. How does this work, how does working with uh, these families who are not necessarily new to our community, but newer potentially to our community or, or immigrants to our community, how does, how does that build a stronger and more robust community? Well, there's, there's no question that when people either as asylum seekers or as um, immigrants by choice, they're so hungry for opportunity. Uh, they often uh, work long hours, they put their children first. Uh, the idea that they are coming here and receiving everything and then not taking advantage of opportunities I think is completely erroneous. They, they're incredibly uh, forward thinking and I think they're gonna be an asset to Maine as they have already been. Absolutely. So in all the work that you do, if I could give your magic wand and you could have a moonshot, uh, for your, the work you're, that you're doing uh, in the community, what would that look like? So for South Sudan, it, it would look like peace in South Sudan. Mm -hmm. They've had a rough first few years of nationhood. And for immigrants in general, my moonshot would be uh, that they, they feel that even the average person accepts them, uh, that uh, they, uh, they can keep their heads up high, that knowing that uh, they're being incorporated into the main community, which in many ways is very welcoming. Well, thank you for your work, and uh, I look forward to hearing more about it as it continues on. Thank you.